Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, today I have come up with a very amazing problem. It is a uh, very interesting uh, uh, concept of uh, physics. So it is radius of curvature of uh, helix. So guys, this video is presented to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And um, uh, my current courses on Unacademy are INPHO Foundation and JE Advanced 2023. It started on February 9th. Uh, and series of mock tests for JE 2021 mains uh, is already going on in uh, special classes. So please take care of uh, it. Those who are interested, especially JE 2021 aspirants, they can look for uh, these uh, mock tests. And uh, my advanced course on electrostatics for uh, JE 2022 started on uh, uh, 17th uh, February. So you can uh, just check this course. It is uh, advanced plus plus level course. And you can uh, try to access my theory courses, which are of advanced plus plus levels currently. And you can definitely boost your uh, J preparation. And you can uh, use my code Nitin sir to unlock any paper, test series, uh, class, or wherever they are uh, prompting for some uh, invite code or pass code. Uh, you can always use Nitin sir. And for more information, you can visit uh, www.unacademy.com and. Uh, Guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the statement of this problem. There exists a helix having radius of R and a uniform pitch P. What will be the radius of curvature of such a helix? So in the diagram, you can see it's a uniform uh, helix. That means this gapping is uh, same everywhere. All right. So guys, helix is constructed uh, by the superposition of uniform circular motion and a straight line motion in perpendicular direction so let's discuss this concept here this is what i have explained a helix can be obtained by tracing the path followed by a particle having a uniform circular motion in xy plane and moving with a constant velocity along the axis of the circle that is along z axis so parametric form if you want to write uh, for helix it can be written in this manner uh, x and y plane it is circle so we can use the parameter of uh, circle r cos theta r sin theta so in terms of time i can write something like this r cos omega t and r sin omega t and this uh, z axis uniform circle uh, uniform uh, motion straight line motion constant velocity is given so z i can write uh, vt where v is speed along the z axis now in this uh, situation this uh, radius of curvature in general is defined uh, as v square by a perpendicular where v square is the speed square divided by component of acceleration which is perpendicular to velocity so here you can see here uh, if there are two vector in uh, space acceleration and v uh, vector v this component uh, i can write as a perpendicular component of acceleration which is perpendicular to velocity and by using cross product i can uh, easily write this component is nothing but v cap cross a its magnitude that uh, length will be known to you so general formula of uh, radius of curvature can be written in this form as well v square by uh, mod of v cap uh, cross a or uh, you can write since mod is there vector a cross v cap as well or uh, you can write it as uh, mod v cube by mod uh, mod of v cross a so you you can write in this manner however we will be discussing it with much easier approach i'll be trying to use uh, motion of charged particle in magnetic field uniform magnetic field so i'm considering a situation here and we will try to remember the results we are going to obtain in order to have some advantage in objective exam if such type of question ever comes in JE advance or any other competitive exam so if there is a charge q mass uh, uh, charge q and mass m this particle and there exists a magnetic field of b along this line and its uh, velocity vectors are uh, v1 and v2 it has two components v1 and v2 v2 is parallel to the magnetic field and v1 is perpendicular to the magnetic field so due to this component v1 the particle rotates in the circle because magnetic field is given by q into v cross b and this due to this v2 it is going to move uh, parallel uh, to this undeviated so when we combine these two it generates uh, a helix this kind of motion will come so from here uh, you can see since v2 and b are parallel so this component cannot generate any force 
so net force is going to be uh, f is equal to q v one b all right and now very interesting part is this force is perpendicular to velocity and uh, that is what we were looking so directly again write this a perpendicular as q v one b by m so from here my radius of curvature i can write uh, as v square by a perpendicular and uh, total speed i can write at the initial moment as uh, root of v1 square plus v2 square as they are mutually perpendicular so this will become v1 square plus v2 square divided by a perpendicular which is qb by m now somehow i have to eliminate this qb by m so i'll go slightly into the uh, motion of uh, this charged particle so you can see since it is uh, moving with a speed of v1 in a circle of radius r <clears throat> so definitely this force it must be pointing towards the center of such circle so q v1 b i can write as uh, mass into acceleration which is m v1 square by r so from here uh, we will get this very well known uh, standard result r is equal to m v1 by q v this is what we are going to get and uh, the pitch uh, of this helix i can uh, similarly i can write this uh, pitch of the helix as v2 t i can write this as v2 t where t is the time in which it completes one circle so this time t i can write as 2 pi r by v1 i can write this as 2 pi r by v1 all right so when i combine uh, these two equations you can see here <clears throat> i'll be substituting the value of qb by m in this qb by m value comes as uh, v1 by r so in the expression of uh, this radius of curvature i am going to get v1 square plus v2 square divided by v1 by r so this is going to be uh, v1 by r we can write it as v1 square so when i rearrange these terms i'll be getting uh, this as rc is equal to r times 1 plus v2 square by v1 square now we can remember it uh, something like this v2 is the velocity along the circle so v axis uh, v axis by v circle so this is very easy to remember rc is equal to r times 1 plus v axis by v circle whole square this is going to be the radius of curvature of helix however we have to find our answer in terms of r and p so by using these uh, two equations you can see you can see here if i eliminate the t value here i am going to get uh, p is equal to v2 times t value 2 pi r by v1 so directly i am going to get uh, v2 by v1 value here and if i substitute in this i am going to get this standard result rc is equal to r 1 plus p by 2 pi r whole square this is going to be the radius of curvature of helix guys uh, you should remember both the forms in order to have some edge in the exam and i'm sure it is going to be very very helpful and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this solution and uh, you have understood the concepts very well and if that is the case please leave a like share this video with others and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it thanks for watching it